Okay, this should be part three of the problem we're doing using the Moody chart, the relative roughness chart, and the minor loss coefficient chart. And in the last video, we found that the summation of all the frictional head losses in the formula So we found this in the last video. And remember that was the H minor plus the H major. Okay? And that total, um, I believe, was 350.5 feet. Okay? Now, if we look back at the problem here, we've used the Moody chart, we've used the minor loss coefficient chart to find all the values we need to figure out what the problem was originally asking. And it was asking um, how much power is delivered by this pump here if it drives at a 65% efficiency. And, and um, yeah, so, and remember, we, we can use the power formula, right, to find the power delivered by the pump. And in this case, it's a, it's a pump head. And we have the specific weight. We have the flow rate, the volumetric flow rate. We need to find HP. We need to find this value. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, you should go back and look at the power um, videos. I made uh, several videos back. So anyway, remember our change in total energy head is the energy head out minus the energy head in, and that's equal to the summation of all the pump heads minus the summation of all the turbine heads minus the summation of all the frictional head losses, which again is, is up here. <clears throat> and if we look back at the if we look back at the picture, we know that the water is going this way. So point two would be our out and point one would be our in. So we can write that. We can write V2 squared over 2G plus the pressure at 2 over gamma plus the height at 2 minus V1 squared over 2G plus the pressure at 1 over gamma plus the height at 1 is equal to um, the summation of all the pump heads, and remember, if you look back at the picture, there's only one pump, so we can just write the pump head minus the turbines. Well, are there any turbines in this picture? No. So we can say that's zero, <clears throat> and then um, minus the frictional head losses, which we found using our major and minor losses to be 350.5 feet, okay? And if we look at the picture, we can say that the velocity at 2 and the pressure at 2 is 0, right? Because it's open to the atmosphere and at point 2, which is up here, is not moving. So that's 0, that's 0. Now the height at 2, okay, the height at 2. Let's put our datum here at point 1. If we said that's our 0, then point 2 up here is 60 feet above our datum. So, so height at 2 is 60 feet. Okay? Minus the velocity at 1 the, over 2g, which again is 0 because point 1 isn't moving. Point 1 is, is this point right here. And the pressure, again, it's 0. And the height, we put our datum at point 0.1, so it's also 0. So on, on the left side, everything is 0, but the height at 2, which is 60 feet. So we'll say 60 feet, which is all of this, is equal to the pump head minus 350.5 feet. Right? And if we solve this out for the pump head, we get HP is equal to... 410.5 feet, right? So now we know our pump head. Now we can plug it into 
this formula right here. Right? And also remember that the original problem statement said the power of this pump is the the pump is 65% efficient. So whenever we have an efficiency, we multiply um, the power over here by that percentage. In this case, it's 65%, which is also 0.65 times the power is equal to the pump head times the specific weight of the fluid times the volumetric flow rate of the fluid. And and we can we can rewrite this a little bit more. Head pump is 410.5 feet times the specific weight of the fluid, which is 62.4. And the volumetric flow rate, remember, in our, in our first video, we found to be Q is 0.134 feet cubed per second. So 0 0.134. And if we solve the power, we get power is equal to 500, or 5,280 0.67 watts or 5.28 kilowatts. Okay, so we used um, we used our total energy head equation. We used the Moody chart, the frictional uh, minor loss coefficient chart, and the relative roughness chart to find out our frictional head losses. And we also use the power formula to figure out how much power is delivered by the pump, okay?